Welcome to Digital Journal TV. My name is Chris Hawk. We are at the North American launch of the BlackBerry Bold. It's coming to Canada today and the US later in September. It's the latest smartphone from Research in Motion and it's the fastest BlackBerry yet. It's loaded with multimedia features and it blows the competition away. But can it take on the Apple iPhone? Stay tuned and find out. So here it is, the BlackBerry Bold from Research in Motion, the latest and greatest BlackBerry. It is the fastest one yet running on a 3G network and it also comes with tons of features. We're going to look at the pros and cons of the device, talk to both Research in Motion and Rogers about pricing and what makes this device so hot and compare it of course to the Apple iPhone. We are at Rogers in downtown Toronto talking with Patrick Spence of Research in Motion, who's the Vice President, to talk about the BlackBerry Bold. When it comes to features, it's typically associated with being a business device, but this has so many, you know, the phone, the camera, the music. Who are you going at with this, this phone? Well, this one's really for everybody. Uh, and, and, you know, Pearl and Curve have definitely been two huge hits, you know, in terms of products that have appealed to both consumers and businesses. In fact, Curve was the number one selling phone in the United States, smartphone in the United States for three months running now. So it's selling to both consumers and business. And similarly, Bold has a lot of features which appeal to both business and consumer. So, you know, it's really for the user that wants everything, GPS, Wi-Fi, the 3G radio, um, the new media experience, the brilliant screen. It's got everything that we see both consumers and businesses demanding from their smartphone. The Apple iPhone has been huge from this point of view, from the multimedia experience. How much has RIM watched what Apple's done in creating the Bold? You know, what we focus on and what we watch is definitely, you know, what's happening in the marketplace and what customers are, are looking for and asking for. And that's what we've, you know, been focused on for the, the 10 years that we've um, had Blackberries in market. And so you've seen our products, you know, evolve with the needs of our customers. And that's really what we've paid attention to here. And that's why we think Bullet's going to be a tremendous hit is that, you know, we're very in tune with our customers working alongside our carrier partners. And we believe that we've delivered a product which has all the compelling features you would expect from a smartphone today. The BlackBerry Bold is available in Canada today ahead of the US and it's already available in some markets. Why didn't RIM launch this globally uh, simultaneously? Um, all our different carrier partners have different processes that they go through in terms of testing the device and you know, different uh, requirements in terms of their markets and, and, and the like. So you know, we're partnered with uh, over 300 carriers worldwide and so you know, we are, are working closely with all of them to get the product to market uh, as soon as possible um, with you know, the highest quality possible. So uh, there can be differences and uh, we've seen that with all our products and this is no different. What is the price point? What are we looking at to buy it outright from Rogers? Uh, it's $399 on a three-year contract. $399 is a bit more than users would expect from something like the iPhone. Can you explain the pricing difference, why it's more expensive? Uh, Roger sets the pricing, so you'd have to speak with them about that. And final question, when it comes to multimedia, this phone has all of what you would need from video to music. Mm -hmm. What about hard drive space? How much can the phone store on the actual unit? It's a very good question. There's one gig on the actual unit itself and you can put up to a 16 gig media card in the device. So, you know, you can really put a lot of content on the device, uh, load a lot of music, a lot of videos, and uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. If you hear the stereo sound and see the video, uh, this is a, a multimedia powerhouse. One gig of internal memory is quite small by comparative standards, though. Why didn't RIM go for something bigger? Well, it's actually something which is revolutionary in terms of BlackBerry side and you know we do a lot of things to try and make sure that that media that content is um, on the device in a in a uh, efficient way as well and so you know really for for customers the, the the easiest way to transport media and use it is with the SD card and so that's why we've instituted that technology uh, on the device but we've also bulked up what we have on the uh, on the bold in terms of the one gig which is uh, the most that's ever been on a BlackBerry. Thanks for your time Patrick. Thank you. The iPhone was a huge weekend, the opening sales for Rogers, it outbeat out uh, all in history, all handheld sales for Rogers. How do you expect the Bold to compare to the iPhone 3G sales? The Bold will be very successful. Uh, there is a, a base of customers that are already BlackBerry users that are looking for the premium BlackBerry solution and there is will also be uh, attractive to new customers that are looking for a premium solution. What kind of pricing are we looking at for the data plans? And so the plans uh, are available on rogers.com. Uh, Bold will be able to you can leverage it with the uh, $30 6 gig plan that's in market today. The and on rogers.com. That's the same that's available for the iPhone until the end of August? Right now, August 31st. Yes. What happens after August 31st? We don't comment on uh, pricing after. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So when it comes to what makes the BlackBerry better than the iPhone, this full QWERTY keyboard is incredible. BlackBerry users are used to it 
And the iPhone has a virtual keyboard, no actual physical keypad, so typing can be difficult. The BlackBerry wins in this area. The BlackBerry Bold has zoom features where the iPhone does not. It also has a flash on the back of the device so you don't lose your pictures to darkness. And when it comes to video recording, the BlackBerry Bold has it, the iPhone 3G doesn't. And that physical button on the side of the phone to take pictures is much nicer than the iPhone's virtual button. The BlackBerry Bold also has Media Sync, so you can take all of your music and get it right from iTunes onto the actual BlackBerry. Now the iPhone can also do this, but giving the BlackBerry this type of functionality makes the Bold stand out. Now for BlackBerry fans out there who want to use internet, the iPhone's navigation using your finger to swipe is much better than the Bold. On the Bold, you have to use the trackball and scrolling through web pages is a little bit painful especially when you're on a big page it's up and down and up and down rather than swiping and clicking with the touch of your finger blackberry not as good as iphone here we can't help compare the blackberry bold to the apple iphone the bold wins in substance over style but the iphone has both style and substance and yes the bold is sleek but the iPhone has a cleaner look without all those buttons clogging up its front. But really, it does come down to personal preference. So that's it. That's your look at the BlackBerry Bold. I kind of feel guilty using my iPhone at a BlackBerry event, but we won't tell anyone. For more info on this and other smartphones, visit digitaljournal.com. Thanks for watching this episode of Digital Journal TV. We'll see you next time. My name is Chris Hawk.